Hello guys, I'm Jamie Ray. And I'm Charlotte Holmes, we are Strike and Flow. And this is Balance TV. Today we're going to be doing 20 minutes of our usual class, 10 minutes of HIIT and then 10 minutes of yoga. And you can catch us at Balance Festival where we'll be doing this signature workout for you guys. First exercise, we're going to start, your left foot is forward, so everybody put your left foot forward, you have your left hand jab, your right hand cross, you're going to step forward on your right leg and left knee, step back. Let's go, and jab, cross, step, knee, bring it back, good, yep, same foot, boom, knee, bring it back, hands up, left, right, right, left, good, and jab, cross, step, knee, what I find helps is when you say it to yourself as you do it. So, left, right, step, knee. Good. And left, right, step, knee. I find this one hard. <laughs> step, knee. Good. Jab, cross, step, knee. Now let's get a little bit quicker. Back, back, step, knee. There we go. Jab, cross, step, knee. Got it. Yep. Jab, cross, <laughs> step, knee. Jab, cross, step, knee. Jab, cross, step, knee. Jab, cross, step, knee. We have three seconds left. <laughs> One more. And breathe. Well done. Whew. Get your breath. Second exercise. So we're going to start with your feet apart. We're going to go down into a squat. You're going to bring the knee up and out. Not up, out. So we squat down, forward, out. Let's start. 45 seconds in. Boom. So the knee's coming forward. That's right. So the knees are coming forward. We don't want to be bringing them all the way up because in Muay Thai, it's about going through. Okay, we want to go through the opponent. Boom, straight through. Good. All the way down. So where am I kicking that person if he's in front of me? In the stomach, in the chest? What am I aiming for? Right into the abdominals. Boom. <laughs> Good. We've got 15 seconds left. Lovely. Also, what helps as well is you want to point that foot. As you throw the knee, point the foot. Okay? Point. Good. Point. Three seconds, two, one, and breathe. Get your breath, slow yourself down. Next exercise, right. So, left foot forward again. You're gonna start with your hands up. You're gonna roll under to the right. Roll under to the left. Jab, cross, hook. Roll under to the right. Left, jab, cross, hook. And right, and left. Jab, cross, hook. And right, and left. And jab, cross, hook. And right, <laughs> good, and left. Jab, cross, hook. So as you're rolling under, we don't want to be rolling too far down. We want to keep it a little bit small. Small, good, small. Jab, cross, hook. Avoiding their punch, basically, right? So that's exactly what we're doing. Right, now we're avoiding moving out the way of their punch. Good, one, two, five seconds. Good, one, two, one, two, three, good, and breathe. Okay. I'm not so good at that technical stuff, but it's fun. <laughs> right, our next exercise, jumping knees. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get palm of your hand, and you're gonna put the other hand on top of it. You're gonna bring the elbows in, and you're gonna knee, hop, knee, okay? Let's go. Knee, sure. Knee, good, knee, 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 beautiful. Now, what I want you to imagine is those elbows you're bringing in. Imagine they're on my shoulders and you're pulling down. Good, down, boom, boom. Inside knee, ha, ha, ha. Now it is high intensity, so let's take it up. Ha, ha, ha. Good, 15 seconds left. Ba, ba. Nice, powerful knees. Ta, 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 ta. Good, we got five seconds left. Five, four. Three, two, one, breathe. Get your breath. Feel buggy, you're five Woo! seconds. Five seconds. <laughs> okay, next exercise. You're gonna put your left foot forward again. Hands up. Now you're gonna step to the side. You're gonna kick to the side. Wow. Step back. Now we're gonna do four on the, with the right kick for the left. Let's go. Step, kick, and back. Step, kick, and back. Now, when you throw the kick, put it down and spin it back. Good. Step, kick, down, 
and back. That's easier. Yes, kick, down, and back. Step, kick, down, and back. Now we're gonna change it on the other side, right foot forward. Step, kick, down, and back. Flat foot, Perfect. pointed yeah. foot. Flat foot, kick, and back. I changed it there. Step, <laughs> kick, down, and back. 10 more seconds. Kick, down, and back. Step, kick, down, and back. Step, kick, down. We've got one more second. <laughs> And breathe, get your breath. Your kicks are so high. You feeling good? Yeah, good. <laughs> okay, so our next exercise, what we're gonna do is you're gonna do a Superman punch. Now, why is it called a Superman punch? Look, knee up, Superman. Okay. <laughs> Easy. So, what you're gonna do is you bring your knee up and you kick back and punch with the right hand and the right leg at the same time. Punch. Good, step back. Now, let's keep going over again. One, boom, step back. Now, if you've got a mat at home or if you're on your carpet, I want you to travel forward. So knee comes up, travel, kick forward. Step back, yes, beautiful. And again, knee, punch, step back. And again, knee, punch, step back. Keep it going, one after another. Ha, step back, and ha, step back, and ha, step back. You're too quick. Keep it going, good, 15 seconds, boom. Boom, beautiful. Boom, step back. Boom, step back. Boom, we got five more seconds, nice and powerful. Knee, power. Knee, power. Knee, power. Breathe, get your breath. That is tough. It's tough. Okay, next one. I'm gonna start with your hands up. Keep that guard nice and tight. Your knee comes up, you're gonna check. Check knee. Now this is a defense exercise. So you defend with a kick, you defend, you step, kick forward, kick forward. Defend, defend, kick and kick. Beautiful, defend, defend, kick, kick. Defend, defend, kick, beautiful. Now as you're doing this exercise, I want you to try and keep your elbows still. Try not to move, beautiful. Ha, pull, pull. And as you throw those kicks, boom, boom. Bring those hips forward. And push, push. Good. And push, push. Knee, knee, push, push. One more, push, push, and breathe. That is so, <laughs> your legs get so heavy. Woo. Okay, next exercise. So, we're gonna drop down to the floor in a burpee. We drop down to the floor. Burp. Yeah. We come back up. Back up. Uppercuts as fast as you can. You're gonna count in your own eight seconds. Let's go. Down to the floor. Back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop down. Back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop down. Back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want to get those hands as fast as you can. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down. Back up. We've got five seconds. Let's get one more burpee down. Down. Back up. And breathe. Oh, get your breath. Okay. Next exercise. We start with the hands up. Left foot forward again. Jab. Cross. Now you're going to lean back out the way of their kick or their punch. So you're leaning back and they're throwing a kick or a punch. We've moved out of the way. Now you're going to step foot with your right leg. Step forward. Boom. Oh. Boom. Oh. Step back. And again, jab, cross, lean back, step. Boom. boom. The, back. Bo the boom jab, is not cross. optional. You must say boom. <laughs> jab, cross, step back and boom. <laughs> back. Jab, cross, lean back, step, elbow. Good. Straight arms, lean back, step, elbow. Good. Jab, cross, lean back, step, elbow. Good. So it's the right elbow that comes up. Right elbow, step back. Jab, cross, lean back. Right foot, elbow. Beautiful. Jab, cross. You've got 10 more seconds. Let's speed it up. Let's go. Ha, ha. Boom. Boom. Ha, ha. Boom. Boom. <laughs> One, boom. 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 One more. Lean back. Boom. And breathe. We've got one more exercise left. I'm sweating already. Me, I'm... Hey, it's in eight minutes. Okay. I'm not eight eight minutes. Right, next exercise, last one. We're gonna change our feet this time. We're gonna put your right foot forward, all right? Do it on both sides. Punches forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
lunge back, reverse lunge, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, Go, one, two, three, the legs. four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you feel those legs? Yeah. Feel the burn. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse lunge, reverse lunge, and breathe. Goodness. <laughs> it's over. Well done, what a I'm sorry. Okay. So that was Muay Thai inspired hit. I hope you're sweating just as much as I am right now. But now, it is definitely time for some namaste. Okay team, so we need to start slowing down the mind, slowing down the body. Jamie needs to stop sweating. So in order to do that, we're gonna to come to a comfortable seated position to start with. So normally somewhere cross-legged tends to work well. If that's really uncomfortable for you, then you can sit with your legs up straight. Just a comfortable seated position. Now I want you to imagine you're sat really high on your sit bones, so remove all the kind of juicy butt flesh from underneath. I got lots of that. You got lots of that. Sit tall on your sit bones. And imagine you've got a piece of string attached to the bottom of your spine. It goes all the way up through your vertebrae. It comes at the top of your head. I want you to imagine someone's pulling on that real tall. Sit as straight and as high as you can. Close the eyes down. And let the arms relax. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. And just start to think about your breathing. Obviously, through the HIIT exercises, you're not really aware of your breathing. You're not in control of it as much because you're just breathing quickly. So now we want to really think about taking control of our breath. If you can, close the mouth. So you're just breathing in and out through the nose. Take a big, long inhale. Fill the lungs all the way to the very bottom. And then exhale through the nose slowly. One more breath, really long inhale through the nose. All the way into the belly and then exhale slowly. Last time, biggest breath yet. Inhale through the nose. Okay, we're going to open the eyes. You gently take the right ear down towards the right shoulder. Roll the chin down towards the chest. All the way across left ear to left shoulder. And then back to the centre. And then the other way, left ear to left shoulder. Chin all the way down to the chest. Right ear to right shoulder. And then back to the centre. Give me three big shoulder rolls to the back. Really big juicy ones. I bet they feel sore now because mine do after that session. <laughs> then we're going to roll over the knees and come into all fours. Just uncross the legs behind you. Now you want to make sure your fingers are spread nice and wide. Middle fingers are pointing towards the front of the mat. You want to ensure that your shoulders are stacked above your wrists. So you can do that by checking the skin on the back of the hands. There should be a little crease just here. Make sure the shoulders are on, over the top of the wrists. And then look back towards your feet between your legs. If you can see your toes, I want you to take the toes out a little bit till they're hidden behind your knees. Knees are underneath the hips. Now we're going to do some cat cow. So you're going to inhale, drop the chest down, open across the shoulders, start looking up and taking the gaze forward. Really open across the shoulders and bend into that back. When you can't inhale anymore, we start to exhale, push the ground away, start to round up into that angry cat position, tuck the pelvis under until there's no more exhaling to be done. We're going to do three breaths like that. So inhaling, dropping the chest down, opening across the chest, squeezing up, and then exhale. Come all the way down, final breath like that, inhale. Drop down, really big deep breath, open across the chest. And then exhale, push the ground away, round into the top of that upper back. Come back to a neutral spine. We're gonna tuck the toes behind us, tuck the toes underneath, and then sit back onto your heels. Walk the fingers forward towards the front of the mat. Forward a little bit more, really stretch them away. And then if you can, take the head down onto the mat. So it's kind of a version of child's pose, but you're really stretching into the backs of those toe creases. You're bending the toes the wrong way and releasing all the juicy toxins from underneath. It'll feel really nice later on. Okay, then we're gonna untuck the toes and then take the bum up overneath the knees. So the knees are underneath the hips one more time. And you're gonna to continue to walk those hands forward. So the hands are coming all the way forward towards the very front of your mat. You're dropping the chest down towards the floor and if you can, take the gaze forward towards your fingertips so your chin is resting on the mat. If that's too much, 
Just rest the forehead down. You should feel a really nice stretch all the way underneath here. I'm feeling, I'm feeling. Good. To increase that stretch even more, you want to suck your belly button in towards your spine and then try and drop the chest even lower towards the mat. As I said, if you need more of a stretch, just lift the chin and take the gaze forward towards the fingertips. You should feel a really nice stretch underneath those shoulders. And then gently pad the hands back up, all the way back up so the fit wrists come underneath the shoulders. So you're back in that all fours position that we started in. You're gonna tuck the toes behind you again, and then you're gonna kick up into downward dog. So you're gonna drive those hips all the way up towards the ceiling, straighten those legs out, push through the shoulders, and try and straighten out those legs. Now don't worry too much, as you can see Jamie here needs to bend into his knees, that's absolutely fine. What you want to ensure is that there's a nice straight line from the wrists all the way up to the top of the tailbone. So he's really pushing through here, again getting a nice stretch underneath the shoulders. And as the flexibility increases in the backs of the hamstrings, you will eventually be able to straighten those legs out and draw those heels down towards the floor. Now if it feels good, maybe walk the dog out, walk through the right heel and the left heel a little bit. Just wiggle around and really stretch into the back of those legs. Okay, now from this position, you're gonna come over into a high plank. So all the way over into a high plank. So there should be a straight, straight line from the top of the back of the neck all the way down to the heels. And then you're gonna go down to the knees. Bend the elbows, bring them in towards your chest, come down through, chest comes down to the floor. And then just relax down on the floor. You're then gonna take the hands underneath the shoulders, so wiggle them forward, spread the fingers nice and wide, tuck the elbows in towards your chest, and then inhale, push the mat away, curl the spine up. Coming up into Cobra. Now try and roll the shoulders here away from the ears. Really roll them down and back, pull them back, open across the chest. Back onto the mat, tuck the toes, bend the knees and push all the way back up into downward dog. In one movement if you can, but if you need to bend those knees then that's fine. Have a little wiggle. Okay, we're going to take the right foot and we're going to bring it up and forward between our hands. So it's coming all the way to the top of our mat, between our hands. Then you're going to lift up, lift the hands up off the floor, coming in to high lunge. How does that feel, Jay? Oh. Juicy, a juicy stretch. Now here you want to make sure that your knee is over your ankle. You don't want to be protruding that knee over the toe. So there's a nice right ankle here in the ankle and the knee. And if you can, start to drop the pelvis down towards your mat rather than forward. You should feel a really nice stretch. There it is, really nice stretch. Don't forget to keep breathing. Take one more breath here. Then we take those hands down. Now you can take the hands on the inside of the right foot, walk the right foot to the outside of the mat, and then if you can, roll over onto the outside of that foot and drop down onto the elbows if that's possible. If it's really uncomfortable, drop down onto that back knee. If you want more of a stretch, keep it lifted. And it's really about opening up that hip joint, getting a nice juicy stretch. Just try and relax there, I know it feels really uncomfortable. Take a couple of deep breaths. and then come back onto those hands. Tuck the left toes at the back, and then you're gonna push up back into downward dog. All the way up, hips come nice and high. Now feel the difference between the right leg and the left leg. One hip should feel a little bit looser. Okay, same on the other side. Then we're gonna bring that left foot up and forward between the hands firstly. Make sure the foot is a little bit further forward so the knee is over the ankle. Then lift up. Now really kick that right heel away at the back. Kick the right heel away and straighten into that back leg. Keep that nice right angle, then drop down. There you go. Try and straighten into this back leg a little bit more. There you go. Awesome, you can feel, as soon as you try and straighten this back leg, it sort of intensifies the stretch even more. Can you drop a tiny bit lower? Oh. Yeah, we can. And then come down, take the hands on the inside of the left foot. Wiggle that left foot to the outside of the mat. Onto the outside of the foot if it's comfortable. And then drop down onto those elbows. Drop down to the right knee if you need to. And just really think about opening up into that hip. If it feels good, maybe give it a little push. Have a little move around. Don't be afraid to move around in yoga. People get scared and think that they've got to be in one certain position. You really don't. It's just kind of what feels good. And after all that jumping around and really intense stuff, you want to be wiggling and juicing. How are you feeling, mate? You okay? I'm feeling great. <laughs> <laughs> he says that. <laughs> 
Okay, and then place the hands back down on the floor. Underneath the shoulders, don't forget. Tuck the right toes in the back and then push all the way back up into downward dog. Give a little wiggle. Okay, you're gonna walk your toes halfway up the mat. So all the way up to halfway. Take them to the same width as the mat and then drop the bum down towards the floor. Come into yogi squats. Now, for some of you, you'll be here and that'll feel fine. Some of you will be more like Jamie, you'll be a little bit further up. Some of you might not even be able to come down onto the heels. It doesn't matter where you're at, but really think about straightening out through the spine. So that piece of string that I spoke about at the beginning, imagine someone's pulling on it and you're really trying to push through and open the chest. Drive the knees back with the elbows if you can. And then with control, are you ready for this? Yeah. Sit down on the mat. All right, straighten the legs out in front of you. Sit up tall on the sit bones. Feet come up flat on the floor. We're gonna lift the feet off, then the hands off. And we're gonna hold for three breaths. Inhale, and slowly exhale. Slow, 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 inhale again. And slow, with control, good, final breath. Good, and then slowly we're gonna lie down. So we're gonna start by straightening out the legs. Slowly, 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 slowly. How slow can you go? <laughs> all the way down onto the mat. All the way down. Okay, when we get here, this is, <laughs> this is Jamie's fit bar. I'm gonna sit up so I can talk you through what we're doing. But you wanna make sure, if you can, that you kind of wiggle out any last niggles that you've got. So if you need to roll your ankles, or roll your neck, or shrug your shoulders, or scratch your face, or click your fingers, or frown, or yawn, do all those things now. Because the whole point in Shavasana isn't that you kind of fall asleep, or kind of think about what you've got to do in 10 minutes, you really, really need to switch off. <laughs> it's not funny. So let the feet just roll out to the sides of the mat. If you can, you want the hands so the palms are facing up towards the sky. You're gonna welcome in lots of positive energy. Big, long inhales and exhales. Now this time, rather than taking control of the breathing, we're really just ignoring the breathing altogether. Let the breathing do its own thing. If it wants to flow in and out through the nose or the mouth, just allow it to. Perhaps you want to breathe up into the top of your chest rather than the belly. Just start to stop thinking about it. And instead, think about switching off all the muscles through the body. So we're going to start with the toes, the feet, the ankles. As you visualize each part, I want you to completely relax it. Let it become completely still, as if it's melting away into the mat. Then we're going to move up the ankles up to the calves and the backs of the knees, start to relax the thighs, the hamstrings, the pelvis, all those intricate muscles around the hips. Switch off the glutes, try and relax the belly, the abdomen, the lower back, and the chest, all the way up to the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Relax the tops of the arms, the lower arms and the wrists and the hands. Finally, the head, this is the most important thing. I want you to really think about relaxing all the muscles around the neck, the top of the head, and the forehead. Relax your jaw, relax your tongue inside your mouth. And just try and be still, if you can, for a good few minutes. But I'm not going to sit here and let you do that with me. You can do that in your own time. It's just about slowing the body down and slowing the mind down after all that crazy exercise we did at the beginning. And then gently, slowly, gently, start bringing a little bit of life back into your fingertips, give them a little wiggle, give your toes a little wiggle, maybe bend an elbow or a knee. Hug your knees all the way up into your chest, give yourself a squeeze. And then you're gonna roll up and down the back, all the way up and down the back till you come to seated again. Oh, he's stuck. Go on, lad. There we go. <laughs> Come to another comfortable seated position. Rest the hands on the knees. Sit tall on those sit bones. Close the eyes again and just have a little think. How different does that feel now compared to how it did before we started the yoga? There definitely will be some changes. <laughs> you feel loose and juicy. And bring the hands lastly to heart centre. Take a big long inhale through the nose. And sigh out the mouth. There you go, feeling good. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs>
There you have it guys, that was Strike and Flow. We really hope you enjoy your workout. Now when you do this workout, it's not about taking yourself so seriously. It's literally having fun uh, and also remembering there's always progression. The more you do it, the more you're going to get better. Um, exactly. So we hope you enjoyed it and you can join us at Balance Festival. Yay, 2018 May. See you there. See you there. <laughs>